The first place to be visited by the Parliamentary Committee on HIV AIDS and the Uganda AIDS Commission was Reach Out Mbuya Parish, a faith-based organization that has since 2001 been providing care and support to the slum dwellers living positively with HIV. I can say every facility offers ARVs, but reach out to uh, the intervention is broader than the pill, than ARVs. So we go beyond the pill and look into what other aspects, because HIV is a multisectoral challenge. What other effects can affect the pill outcomes? That is the holistic outlook. So we take care of the infected and affected. The next was Tasso and Tebe, and according to Uganda AIDS Commission, as a coordinating body for HIV AIDS related services, the aim of the visit was to interact with service providers. This was very helpful because we were able, uh, first of all, to establish that the standards we set at the national level for service delivery are being implemented at community level, uh, that the quality services that we advocate for are being received by uh, clients who come to this institution. Outstanding was the dwindling of external funding for HIV AIDS, where the need to have domestically generated resources was emphasized. The law was signed by the president. The regulation is to govern it were passed by parliament. We are still having a little challenge with the Minister of Finance to clear us and say, yes, we need this. But as Parliament, we are putting our heads uh, straight and we want to ensure that uh, this domestic funding is realized. The challenge of HIV as a public health threat is still a big one, with the country still having 36,000 new infections annually.